Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Is that good? Today I want to take you guys behind the scenes of another outdoor interview that we are shooting. It's a really, really simple setup and so it's actually a little bit different than what we're typically used to and what we're typically showing on the channel. So I think this could really be beneficial for people getting started. I purposely wanted to have a very, very basic setup for this interview, but it still looks really, really nice. So without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. So I wanna walk you guys through kind of step-by-step, piece-by-piece what we have set up here. Like I said, it's a very simple setup, but what I would encourage everyone to do is just like use what you have. We had the capability and the options to bring a lot more stuff, lighting, generators, power, but I kind of wanted to challenge us to basically just use natural light and try and shape it with bounce and negative and all of that stuff. I think it turned out really well. You guys can be the final judge of that. But getting started over here, we'll start with camera and, and framing and everything else. We're just shooting one camera angle on the Sony FX6, and then we're shooting on the 35 mil G Master. Full frame, 35 mil gives a really nice wide angle, but it also gives a good amount of compression still. So it's that nice little in between. Yeah, we have a lot of ND thrown on here. We're shooting at 1.8 and it is looking like a really good frame that's kind of off axis. And then Maria's over here. She was interviewing the subject uh, that was on camera and uh, he actually just left. Uh, we have the FX6 on the Sacco tripod like always. The Flowtech legs are an absolute must. They're a little pricey, but very well worth it. I wanna pull you into the FX6 rig for a second. We haven't really talked about this before. I think we'll probably make a full YouTube video at some point on this, but we've kind of built out this rig um, in a variety of different ways. So we're basically just exclusively using V-mount batteries on the FX6 at this point. We do have a little Sony battery that stays in there so we can hot swap the batteries and all that stuff. But we have the V-mount batteries on an Anton Bauer um, micro V-mount plate. Works really well, has D-taps, all that stuff. And then we have our Teradek um, unit on here. The whole cage is kind of bright tangerine. So we have bright tangerine top plate, uh, bright tangerine left field base plate, all kinds of bright tangerine stuff. Big fan of bright tangerine. It's a little on the pricier side, but it is, um, again, well worth it if you can afford it. You guys know that I like uh, quality gear over cheap gear when uh, you can do it. So moving over to audio, any outdoor interview that we do at this point is gonna be either a Sennheiser AVX Lab or a boom mic, the Rode NTG3 with a dead cat or blimp or something like that on it. It's really, really good for outdoor. All of our indoor interviews, we use the Sennheiser uh, MKH50, but that is really strictly an indoor microphone. The Rode NTG3 is an awesome outdoor microphone. Really, really good at, at isolating sound. So that's all we use for this. We didn't use a lav, we didn't really need to. That's that for audio. All right, so now we're pivoting to the biggest part of this BTS, which is gonna be lighting and shaping the natural light. Like I said in the beginning, I purposely wanted to limit what we had to use to kind of see how we would be able to really shape the sunlight that was coming in. This was an early morning interview, so we really didn't have to deal with high noon sun or anything like that. So uh, we were really able to create a pretty good look with very little. Essentially, lighting-wise, all of the stuff, not including stands and everything, I mean, you could, it's probably like 20 bucks all in. Um, so essentially what the lighting kit for this consisted of is a circular five-in-one bounce that we had on white that's over here that's gonna be on the key side. And then we have a couple different pieces of negative. So the first one that we have is kind of a bigger five by one, um, more oval shaped bounce for kind of photography and video use. We have that on the black side and that's acting uh, as a negative, but then also it's cutting some of the hard sunlight that was coming in on the talent's shoulder. And so we were able to cut that sunlight out so that the exposure was pretty balanced. What we found, with this neg is that it wasn't giving enough on the talent's face um, to really create that kind of more shaped negative look. So what we did is added another piece of negative, which is just a piece of duvetine that I got on Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks, something like that. We just put that on two stands and that's really creating a nice negative between those two pieces of neg. 
One thing to consider with a bounce is that depending on the like harshness and brightness of the sun, it could be too bright for the talent to be not even staring at, but staring close to. So let's say you have the bounce off axis from your interviewer or whoever the talent is talking to. It could be too bright where they have to squint or they have to wear sunglasses. And so obviously you don't want that. So it's kind of, it, it can really vary Bruh. on um, how you use a bounce for sunlight. Um, but in this case, again, because the sun was relatively low, it's it's not super, super bright right now. It wasn't a problem. And, you know, uh, just be considerate of the talent. I asked the talent beforehand, hey, is this, is this too bright for you? Is this gonna be an issue? He's like, no, nope, totally good. Um, so just make sure that that's, that that's kind of addressed beforehand before you bring in a big white piece of bounce that's reflecting sunlight essentially into uh, the talent's face. So that just about wraps it up for this one. Quick little breakdown, very, very simple. The bottom line is that you can really do a lot with very little. And obviously, yes, we still have nice camera, nice lenses, nice audio, but at the same time, lighting, as I always preach, is one of the most important things. And the fact that we did it with what we have, very, very little right now, and still made it look, I think, very good. Again, you guys can be the final judge of that. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the setup and maybe what you would have done differently or maybe if there's something that you recommend that we should have used instead. Again, the main point is that in natural light, you can really do a lot without powered lighting. I'm big fan of powered lighting, but it doesn't need to be used for every single situation. So that about does it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Till next time, peace.